joints friends today we will learn about the various joints our body has don't we all fold our various body parts as we desire like we can fold our hands wrists knee shoulder neck etc as per our requirements we should know that joints are essential for all types of movements involving the bony parts of the body locomotory movements are no exceptions to this joints are points of contact between bones or between bones and cartilages force generated by the muscle is used to carry out movement through joints where the joint acts as a fulcrum the movability of these joints vary depending on different factors joints classification you should know that all joints don't act alike they are different in many aspects joints have now been classified into three major structural forms namely fibrous cartilaginous and synovial fibrous joints do not allow any movement as in the skull this type of joint is shown by the flat skull bones which fuse end to end with the help of dense fibrous connective tissues in the form of sutures to form the cranium the cartilaginous joints as the name goes the bones involved are joined together with the help of cartilages the joint between the adjacent vertebrae in the vertebral column is of this pattern and permits limited movements the third type of joints is the synovial joints they are characterized by the presence of a fluid filled synovial cavity between the articulating surfaces of the two bones such an arrangement allows considerable movement these joints help in locomotion and many other movements ball and socket joint between humerus and pectoral girdle hinge joint knee joint pivot joint between atlas and axis gliding joint between the carpals saddle joint between carpal and metacarpal of the thumb